This is Kim from Key Diamond Paints, and we have an awesome um, packaging today. I am very excited about this. This is so big, and I can feel the bubble wrap in here. I actually know what this is and where it came from. I mean, score one for the home team. Am I right? Vaughn into the windup in his first offering. Just a bit outside. He wow, that was perfect timed. I mean, we've got the, the um, what's it called? When all the baseball people and they get to the end and they do their thing. World Series is going on. And look, I've got my baseball sweatshirt on even. Wow, everything's just coming together beautifully here at the end. It was a little murky there in the middle, not going to lie. But look at us pulling through. Okay. I don't want to cut anything. I don't want to damage a darn thing. I was contacted by Sophia at Craftsy Art to, if she asked if um, I would do a review for them. And I said, well, sure. Thank you so much, Sophia. And does anybody know, because when I saw that, Craftsy Art, it's like um, Spanish, right? Crafts and arts. Is that a thing? Is that what that is? Anyway, that's what I thought in my, in my vast array of knowledge vault that I pulled that from. Wow! So exciting. So let's put this bad boy to the side. And here's my diamond painting. That bag is staticky. That's hilarious. So here's the thing, right? When she asked me if I would do a review for her, actually, my first thought wasn't yes. It's, you know, can you send, well, she sent me the link to the website and go and look. Because they're, I mean, for the longest time, all I ordered from was Amazon and AliExpress. Now I'm realizing there's all these other companies out there, right? However, when you go on these sites, let's be honest, guys, right? I mean, you see the same paintings over and over and over and over again. So actually, I was kind of like, if I if I do this, what am I what am I going to do that's different? You know, the same paintings. But here is why I said yes. In fact, I didn't find the same old paintings. Some of them, right? There are a source for some of the. The ones that you see, so, you know, this, and I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying, what else could I show you that's new? Because they're all beautiful, right? The waterfalls and the peacocks. I have a blue peacock that I can't wait to get started on. I love it. I'm just saying, what could I show you that would be something new that would make a difference? And I am telling you, I saw this and I went over to Sophia and I said, Sophia, you sign me right up. I am very excited. So they have a toolkit like many. This is just a traditional toolkit, except for the fact that they've got a bigger square uh, rectangle here. This is a square. This is actually two square. <laughs> wow, really? I either need more coffee or I just need to switch right over to wine. We need to some help but anyway I always say I like these because you can get a multi-placer in here right those are fantastic for that all right toolkit this is a little wrinkle but actually not too bad I can feel it it's gonna release nicely we've got this packaging on here that has everything let's see our colors okay this is a 40 by 50 are you ready I'm so excited here we go Oh, she is beautiful. Do you see? She's geisha. Yes. Look at this beautiful girl. We've got some pockets here. Let me just, this is poured glue, right? So we all love that because we know then that our chances of getting this thing to come out nice and flat are very high. <laughs> so I'm, I've been rushing lately with my last couple of paintings when they came in that I um, 
have just been starting them, but actually if you put these under books first and get out these creases, then you'll just be more successful when you're diamond painting because you can see these creases when you diamond paint. I mean, then just put it under books afterwards and get it out, but if you're not going to work on it right away, I'd say put it under books. I think people put it in between mattresses and stuff like that. Whatever you want to do, I'm saying flatten it out before you start. But, okay. Wow, she's got to go back further, huh? Ta-da! Isn't she beautiful? She is so beautiful. I've been looking for a geisha for a while. She is 40 by 50. She is $14.99. She has 24 colors. The key looks really great, really clear, lots of letters. There is a more expensive geisha out there that I've had my eye on. I am extremely cheap. <laughs> I'm like, to say that I'm extremely cheap is, is being rude to people who are cheap. I'm like, wait. <laughs> hey, look at her thumbnail. Isn't she pretty? I'll put up the um, listing photo right here. And just so you know, I ran this through Google Images and then my Sherlock app, and she didn't come up anywhere. Um, so if you can find her, I always, I feel like running them through the two different apps really gives me a good picture, but that's not saying, I mean, it's vast out there, you guys, so, but that is my homework that I do. You can see here the drill field is really clear. There are no guide circles for you guys that are not guide circle fans. For those of us who need a little help, it's a little scarier. I'm getting better at it though. I just have to take my time more. Whereas I don't know if taking my time is my thing. Oh, paper. <laughs> We're just gonna sit here and fight with it there without the glare on it. Look, look at her face. Isn't she just beautiful? I know. I'm sorry. Am I staring at her too long? But look at her dress, her kimono. I mean, oh, I just love it. I just love it. So, right, as you can pull up a bunch of geisha, um, but I didn't see anything that was like her, and I didn't see anything that was this style even when I when I went looking for her. So tried to do my homework for you so that you could feel conscience-free and easy when you ordered her because there has to be someone more than me. I mean, she is breathtaking. I love it. I love that the background is going to give me some multi-placing opportunity. I wonder what that color is going to be. Okay, let's look at the drills because I just really want to see. And just the red. I mean, she's so pretty. We have 24 colors, so... 24 colors is about what um, I would say I would like. Um, that's my bottom end. Any less than that... Depends on the image, too, of course, right? But 24 is, is definitely okay with me. But when you get into, like, the 19s and the 17s, again, depending on the image, that's when I get a little, oh, uh, I would like a little more color. Here, let's start with one. Oh, we've got two strips here, even. Maybe we can figure out what that background color is. Oh, I think I see it. Okay, anyway, let's just look at drills. Of course I love pink and peach. This has got to be three tens, right? Yep, three tens. Oh, that's what I was going to say, you guys. This is that packaging that has everything you could wish for, right? Has your number that corresponds, has your um, code to match up to the canvas. It's not focusing, but it would be right there. And um, your DMC, so everything you could hope for on these packaging. I love that. So, Pete, I'm sorry, we were at three ten. We got, look at that. Was that going to be like six of those that we use? <laughs> Ooh, is this, this is a three, two, one. Wow, is that pretty. Wow, all of these, these are some beautiful drills. What was this one that I saw last time? Let's guess. What do you guess? It's not as, it's a little more orangey. So if you're guessing 666, don't. What besides 666? 606. 606. 
I got it. It's that orange, a little bit orangier, you guys. Oh, maybe can you see? I bet this one is six six. Yeah, this one is six six six. Oh, let's just try and get it together here. There, you can see now. See, you would have guessed that if you had seen it. Wow, look at our reds. I mean, of course, but still. A little bit of royal blue. Oh, look at this burgundy. She is going to be a stunner. I think this is the background. Um, 24, 3863. Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? I'm sorry, you guys. I hope you don't get sick of that, but I do that all the time. That's the background. Oh, I love it. I thought it was going to be like green, but it's more this like, what do you want to say? Super milk chocolatey, what milk chocolate with a lot of milk? Oh, teeny bit of purple, some terracotta colors. <gasps> oh, I love her. So I'm really excited for this. Um, like I said, I'm really excited that I could find something that you haven't seen before. Hopefully you haven't seen before. I, at least, I haven't seen her. I haven't seen her on other sites. Um, so, yeah, just something new and different for you guys to look at. Should we see what's in that big package? Right? What the heck is in here? All right. Let's, I'm going to clean. I'm, I'm really sad to clean her up, but I'm going to put her away gently, delicately. Like the beautiful flower that she is, the delicate flower that she is. And then we'll look at the big package. Okay, on to this really well-wrapped package. Honestly, you guys, I'm going to keep this stuff. This looks great. So we can just slide this out. Nice packaging, Craftsy Arts. Thank you so much. Taking such good care of my stuff. This is, again, this is that they sent me this for a review. I did not purchase these items. They contacted me. So the generosity is just next level. Here we go. Oh, do you know what it is? It's a light pad, you guys. It is. This is an A4 light pad. This has um a protective coating on it right here. So if you're new to diamond painting or if you're thinking about starting diamond painting, I'd say a light pad is, I wouldn't say, okay, I'm going to say it's a must. <laughs> I think it really helps your eyes. It helps you to see um, your symbols better. Um, I'll insert a picture right here of my diamond painting on my light pad that I have. So you can see the difference. If you have a diamond painting that has... Um, Symbols that are not so clear, like my last one. My last one that I finished for Drills and Chills, you guys, 8-3-G, um, what else? S-6-9, they all looked the same. I am not kidding you, they all looked the same. So it was my light pad that really saved me on that. So when I first started diamond painting, I received my first diamond painting, opened it up. I'm so excited by all the colors, right? And within, I think, 15 minutes, I realized, hey, I, <laughs> I have to have a light pad. And I ordered a light pad right away. I still have that A4 light pad. So you just plug this in right on the side here. And I would suggest when you use these, unplug it from your USB side. Don't keep plugging it and unplugging it here because I think this is like the weakest link right here. And I received that bit of um, that tip. I can't even remember now. I think it was, you know, it was a year ago, but I still have my original A4. So it hasn't broken. And so I leave this part plugged in and I unplugged it from the USB port. And yeah, this is where you turn it off on. Ooh off and on and it's just um usually it has a step so here is the deal with this light pad you guys sophia contacted me and said hey would i like to do a review she has all these products and i said you know what sophia i said if you don't mind i said i am hosting drills and chills 
and I showed her the Instagram. I said, not only that, as I don't know if you guys watched my video, but Friday, October 23rd was my one year YouTube anniversary. YouTube anniversary, you guys. So this is a giveaway for you. Craftsy Art said, yes, absolutely. We would love to be part of your drills and chills. We would love to help you celebrate your one year and give this away. I am telling you guys, these are a game changer. I really love a light pad. So I saw that. I was like, oh, I've had so many people say, oh, hey, um, I've just started diamond painting. I'm not going to take this off, but you can see. Ooh, this has got a nice surface to it, too. Right, pull off the plastic and... But, uh, you know, I've just started drilling and just started diamond painting. This is a tool for you. So let's go spin the wheel for a winner, you guys, okay? <laughs> hey, congratulations! I'm so excited for you. You are going to love this, okay? These are the best. They're a, this is uh, A4 light pad and it is $19.99 from Craftsy Arts. So thank you, Sophia. Thank you, Craftsy Art. Thank you, winner. Thanks everybody for participating. And you guys, two days, two winners this week. Is that not fabulous? What a roll we're on. Okay, you guys, thank you so much. And I'll see you guys over on Instagram and I'll see you back here because we have more videos this week. Have a good one, you guys.